Scanning. Read and Write provides scanning functionality to allow paper-based text to be imported into the software. The other support features of the software can then be used, such as having the text read aloud or using the dictionary. Read and Write can scan into Word, HTML, PDF, or EPUB. To choose the desired output method, select the format from the Scan drop-down menu. Once the required output method is selected, click on the Scan icon. Here, you can give the scanned document a name and choose where the document should be saved. Scanning into PDF will produce a near-perfect image of the original text. PDF Allowed can then be used to read the document. Scanning into Word allows the full editing functionality provided with Word to be used. You can cut, copy, delete, and add your own text. When scanning into HTML, you can use Read the Web to read the text. Scanning into EPUB will produce an EPUB file that can be read with an EPUB reader. Adapting the scanning. You can choose what you wish to scan from by selecting it here. You can scan from WIA, Twain, or from a file. Notice the option to scan from WIA which is for digital cameras and scanners which support this. This means that you can use a camera or scanner to transfer the text into your computer. Here is an example of a picture taken with a camera and scanned into PDF. In the scanning options, you can choose to hide or display the scanner's own dialogues. You can change the image resolution here. 600 dpi will provide the best results. The document can be scanned in monochrome, grayscale, or full color. The brightness and contrast of the scanned document can be adjusted here. You have the option to scan single pages or multiple pages. If you choose to scan single pages, the scanner will only scan one page. If you choose to scan multiple pages with prompt, you will be prompted each time a page is scanned. If you choose to scan multiple pages with countdown, the scanner will automatically scan a page every six seconds. If you need longer than six seconds, Enter the number of seconds you require here. In the Output Settings tab, you can select how the document should be saved. If you prefer not to automatically save the document, select Temporary File, Folder. If you would like to enter a document name and choose a location each time you scan something, Select this option. If you would like all scanned documents saved to the same location, choose this option. Additional format settings can be changed according to the document type you are producing here.